flipped classroom. Hello, dear fellows, welcome in flipped classroom mentor and learning web with group 11. Our learning objective this week, you will be able to define the flipped classroom. Second to differentiate between traditional and flipped classroom. Third objective is to recognize the pillars and types of flipped classroom. And lastly, to demonstrate the pros and cons of flipped classroom. Flipped classroom is a pedagogical approach in which direct instruction moves from the group learning space to the individual learning space, and the resulting group space is transformed into a dynamic, interactive learning environment where the educator guides students as they apply concepts and engage creatively in the subject matter. traditional learning, lower level of learning such as remembering and understanding is happening in class, while students are usually left to work on activities that involve higher level of classroom. However, in the flipped classroom model, learning is flipped. As you can see from the pyramid, students can finish the lower level of cognitive work before class. And when they come to class, they can engage in higher cognitive levels of learning with peers and teacher present. s role in traditional learning is sage on stage while in flipped classroom is guide on the side in flipped classroom there s three platforms for learning first is pre-class materials second is in class activities and lastly after class reflection and assessment four pillar of flipped classroom include f for flexible environment l for learning culture i for intentional content p for professional educators Coming to the pillars in COVID era two parameters added E for engaging activities and D for diversified learning platforms. Talking about types of flipped classroom 1 traditional flipping, 2 debate oriented flipping, 3 demonstration based flipping, 4 group based flipping, 5 virtual flipping, 6 double flipped classroom. Why should you flip your classroom? 1 more one to one time with teacher, 2 more group work or student interaction time, 3. Self-paced learning, 4. Improved engagement, 5. Deeper subject understanding, 6. Work accessibility, 7. May improve test performance. What is bad about flipping your classroom? 1. Relies on student preparation, 2. Increased screen time, 3. May exacerbate digital divide issues, 4. Time and effort for teacher. 5. May not cover everything required for a test. In this week we will discuss the challenges of the flipped classroom, no doubt there are many challenges associated with flipped classrooms. These can be identified and categorized into student-related challenges, faculty challenges, and operational challenges. Student-related challenges in flipped classrooms, first some students held a conventional view of learning and did not use to the routines of flipped classroom approach. Second instructional videos were too long, with no focus, were boring and passive. Third some students needed more clear instructions on how to work productivity in groups during class. Fourth pre-class activities were time consuming and overwhelmed students time at home. Fifth students could not ask questions immediately after video lectures. Faculty related challenges in flipped classroom. First teachers might not understand the value of FC and accustomed to this new instructional approach. Second limited materials, e.g. instructional videos, handouts, were available and suitable for a particular class. Third preparing flipped learning materials required considerable startup effort. Operational challenges in flipped classrooms, students might not have internet access to view the videos at home. Second will be difficult to ensure that students had truly watched the video. Third teacher might not be able to upload the videos online. Last thing is that flipping approach relied on the extent of the investment by schools in computer resources. Virtual Online Flipped Classroom VFC, Virtual Flipped Classroom VFC, is an integration of two concepts, the flipped classroom and virtual classroom. It enables teachers to teach and guide students in applying the activities needed to achieve the best learning levels.
Since the outbreak of COVID-19 at the end of 2019, traditional classroom teaching mode is difficult to continue, online teaching has become the sole choice to make. Teachers begun to implement synchronous online teaching through online platforms, such as Zoom and Teams. Synchronous online teaching realizes simultaneous interaction between teachers and students, breaking the traditional static online learning of watching courseware or video lecture. During synchronous online teaching, teachers can flip the class, or give a lecture, while students can also discuss, share and interact directly with teachers and classmates. In this way, teachers can have simultaneous supervision of students' learning process and examine learning effect. However, the most apparent weakness of synchronous online teaching is network jams or congestion, which have direct impacts on the smoothness of synchronous online teaching. Goodbye and good luck sure we will miss you all. Prepared to you by our leader Safa Alkalash, Nagwan Rishwan, Rehab Tolba, Lamya Elhassan, Rania Alemam, Nancy Zaglul.